Now welcome back again to the channel I Do Agri. In today's video we're going to be dosing cattle and sorting them, uh, letting some of them out onto grass and all sorts. But uh, we're going to be using a special tool to uh, dose them and I'll talk about that now. Now doing any sort of handling of cattle is not easy, especially when you don't have the right setup. And I definitely don't have the right setup here. Uh, we have an old crush here, it's 40, 50 years old. Don't know how old it is, but it was here before my granddad bought the place. Um, so it's served its, it served its time. It's in a nice spot. It actually is handy if it was, if it had a good sculling gate on the front and a good set of pens behind it to push the cattle in. It could be a great crush if it was done properly and I do have some good plans for it. Um, I'm going to tackle it soon enough, probably after the first cut of silage is done realistically. Um, we'll look at tearing this out and uh, building it up again, retrofitting something to it. I have the sculling gate and a new backing gate made for it but just to, just to make everything around it um, I have a plan there as well for fitting a few gates and some pins that will swing around and we'll be able to push in the cattle from behind. But anyway, that'll come in another video. Um, there'll, be those, there'll be loads of content on the crush and the bits of welding and design work that goes into it. We also have this uh, portable crush that I made uh, two years ago, welded it up. Um, it's actually a great crush, very, very handy to use. Has the C section gate and the calving gate in it and all, and you can you can get the cow in there, tie her up, and there's no issues. Only issue being that there's no race behind it, and you can't be you can't be um, flowing, you know, 20, 30 cattle in it uh, at the one time very easily. So it's slow that way, and couldn't be used for testing and all that. So whatever we have that there. I have a few modifications to make on it, on it, but that's not the crush to be using for testing or dosing cattle. So back to square one. Now even if I had a good sculling gate here in the front and I was able to fly the cattle through from the back, um, I'd still be having trouble dosing cattle uh, with an oral drench because um, without a head scoop I'd need a second person with me, which I don't have, to catch the cow while someone else um, gets the drench into them. So I was on the lookout for the tool that would do the job um, and make my life a bit easier doing these jobs by myself. So I found this yoke to do the job. It's a floating hook with uh, the drench gun attached to it with the rubber tube. And I first saw this on one of Tom Pemberton's videos, actually. Um, uh, he was using it and it just looks handy. You know, you go in behind them and you hook it into their mouth and you can squirt the oil drench in that way. But yeah, I just picked that up at the local vet. I think it was about 70 quid for the gun and all the tubing and all. It's um, definitely worth it. But only well, after dosing a few cows did I realize it's not just for dosing. Uh, this is a very handy yoke for distracting cattle if you're trying to treat them or give them an injection of any kind. Um, you pop that in their mouth and they start chewing chewing on the tube and that's all they're concerned with in that moment of time really. So, so not only is this fantastic for dosing any oil drench for cattle or big animals like that, um, it's also a great great distraction device and I plan to use it um, in the future if we have to do any any jobs um, any jobs like that and cows that are misbehaving. But that's all I'll say on that. Um, Another thing is you don't have to be putting each cow into the headlock. You can run along, do the first one, second one, third one, all of them in the race um, so you can get the job done even, even quicker that way. Um, I was even dosing a few of them in the slats. If, if they were a bit tighter in space, it would be easier, but uh, the quiet cows that we have, I could dose them in the slats with this yoke. Um, no bother, the few heifers that were in there. So it, it's just... Um, Tis, tis a game changer as I said, complete game changer for me. If you already have a way of drenching cattle and you don't need this, um, I'd also recommend uh, the Cow Catcher by Country Farm Supplies. It's a very similar thing, um, it's just a hook with a handle and, and it's a distracting device for the cattle and it works just the same. You pop it in their mouth and they're chewing away there on the tip of it and that's all they're concerned about. You can do anything there behind them.
Now, so today for working on the animals, um, we have a lot of dosing to do and a bit of moving about to do. I want to put the bull and the heifer that were below the house, above the house here. Um, but first we'll bring them up and uh, run them through the crush here. Then we'll get the ones above the house down, dose them if we can, put them below the house here. Um, and they'll have the run of the place for a few weeks.
the bullocks would have gotten it done so that one doesn't need it the young calves won't need it uh, just to get the few cows probably six or seven cows that are in it um, the dose for the fruit and worm they got I shortened the pipe from this yoke and yeah it's, it's just very handy handy for my setup Now we'll let these ones out of here. I'm going to keep that black one in, uh, 113. She's very easy to get into the brush, and when you have one of them in, it's easy to get um, the others into it. So that's what I'll do. I'll put these out into the high girth, and I'll just have to keep a close eye so that they don't go picking at the sides as well. So. Lower on the gun there, and that's the majority of it. Uh, 
absolute game changer. So we just have this one to do, um, fine beast that we don't know, but we just want this one to do, and this red one here, we're going to put above the house like I said, uh, she's due to calf next month or so, um, we'll put her above with the bull and the heifer that's due to calf before her, um, keep a close eye on the two of them, and yeah, they're, they're all fairly quiet up there, so they are. Oh yeah, well dose this last one. All done. Some job. Some job. If you're doing any oral drenching, look, and you don't have one of these, it's 70 quid. You could possibly get the floating hook by itself without the gun if you already have a gun, like uh, I imagine a lot of people would. But we let all of these ones out. Keep her in, keep her back. Let the black one out.